Chapter 6. Experimental Research. Do you have any idea about this topic? If not, join me. I will share you a little bit background about the topic. First, let's define what is experimental research. Experimental research is the research in which the researcher manipulates the independent variable and is interested in showing cause and effect. The purpose of experimental research is to determine cause and effect relationships. The experimental research method enables us to identify causal relationships because it allows us to observe, under control conditions, the effects of systematically changing one or more variables. Causality. Causality suggests that a single event, the cause, always, leads to another single event, the effect. Anderson states, causes and consequences concentrate on the relationships between phenomena, how one phenomenon affects another. Five conditions of causality. Necessary condition. Sufficient conditions. Contributory conditions. Contingency condition. Alternative condition. Necessary condition. A necessary condition is one that must occur if the phenomenon of which it is a cause is to occur. That is to say, if x, the independent variable, is a necessary condition of y, the dependent variable y will never occur unless x occurs. Sufficient condition. Sufficient condition is one that is always followed by the phenomenon which it causes. In other words, if x is a sufficient condition of y, then whenever x occurs, y will always occur. Contributory condition. Contributory conditions increase the probability that a certain phenomenon will occur, but they do not make it certain. Contingent condition. The conditions under which a given variable is a contributory cause. Alternative condition. The researcher should also be aware of the possibility of alternative conditions that might make the occurrence of a certain phenomenon more likely. Alternative conditions, in essence, refer to the different forms that a given factor or variable may take and how the factor's influence is affected by its form. Mechanism. Mechanism refers to the conditions that create the causal connection or the intervening variables. Basis for inferring causal relationship. One type of evidence for inferring a causal relationship is known as concomitant variation. Evidence of concomitant variation or covariation when the rare two variables indicates that the independent variable X and the dependent variable or assumed effect Y are associated in the way predicted by the causal hypothesis. A second basis for inferring a causal relationship between two variables relates to the time order of occurrence of the variables. To establish the necessary time order acquires evidence that the dependent variable did not occur before the independent variable. The third basis for inferring a causal relationship is non-spuriousness or evidence ruling out other factors as possible causes of the dependent variable. However, such evidence merely helps to provide a reasonable foundation for inferring that X is or is not a cause of Y. There are two basic types of variables namely, independent variable and dependent variable. What is independent and dependent variable? The independent variable is the experimental variable. It also is referred .to as the cause or causal variable and the predictor variable. It is the variable that the researcher manipulates. While the dependent variable is often known as the effect, the subject variable or the criterion variable, it is caused or at least affected by the independent variable. Three major techniques for controlling the influence of extraneous variables. One technique involves holding the other variables constant by matching or selecting subjects with the same traits for the experimental and comparison groups. If the subjects are not completely equivalent going into the experiment, the extraneous variables may be controlled statistically during the analysis stage. However, this approach is less reliable than others, as it is done ex post facto or after the experiment. The third and best technique for equating two or more groups before the experimental treatment begins is referred to as random assignment or randomization. It is a procedure used after the sample is selected, but before the experimental treatment is applied. It involves randomly assigning the subjects in the total sample to experimental and comparison. 
Internal validity refers to the possibility that the conclusions drawn from experimental results may not accurately reflect what went on in the experiment itself. External validity is important because it relates to the possibility that conclusions drawn from experimental results may not be generalizable to the real world. External validity is the extent to which one can generalize the results of the research to the populations and settings of interest in the hypothesis. Experimental Research Design True Experimental Designs One of the classic, true, experimental designs is usually referred to as the pre-test post-test control group design. Second standard, true experimental design is referred to as the Solomon for group design. The post-test only control group design diagrams the same as the last two groups of the Solomon. For group design, factorial designs can deal with two or more independent variables and one dependent variable. Pre-experimental designs, the one-shot case study, which can be diagrammed simply as XO, is an extremely weak design. The one-group pretest post test design presents a slight improvement over the one-shot case study because it incorporates a pretest or one more observation point. Another pre-experimental design, which improves a bit more on the preceding designs, known as the static group comparison, quasi-experimental designs. The time series design is an example of a single-group quasi-experimental design. This multiple group design has some of the features of the static group comparison and the one group pretest postest design. A second multiple group quasi experimental design is the multiple time series design. That's all. I hope you learned something from my video. Again, this is Mariel M. Vince. See you next time.